Hey friends, I'm Shumon and welcome to ASA Technical. Today I'm going to show you how to fix VC runtime 140.dll missing error on Windows 7, Windows 8 and Windows 10. When opening an app on your Windows computer, if you have encountered an error, the problem can start because VC runtime 140.dll is missing from your computer. Here are a few things you need to follow to troubleshoot and fix this problem. This occurs when the problem you are trying to run requires the VC runtime 140.dll to be present on your computer system. VC runtime 140.dll is a Microsoft C runtime library application extension of OS located in the System32 folder. If any DLL file goes missing, you can see such error messages on your screen. Now, you really don't have to worry about it. By following these instructions in this video, you can easily get the solution of this problem. Even the DLL file is present on your computer, but you still receive this error message. Then also you can use this method for fix this problem. Well, let's get started. Downloading the missing .dll file from the internet and pasting it to a particular place is not the actual solution. You can try that method, but you may not get any positive result from it. To solve this problem, download and install Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable for Visual Studio on your computer. Alright, just follow me. Download the Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable for Visual Studio from Microsoft official site, as you can see. Next, make sure that your Windows is updated. If not updated, at first run Windows Update and confirm, as you can see. Next, close all your open application using the program window or the task manager. Then install the runtime component and restart your computer. That's it. Hopefully, your problem has solved. Download VC Runtime 140.dll file by simply googling as you can see. You have to download for both 64-bit and 32-bit also.
I am download the files on the desktop for my convenience. If you want to download the files somewhere else, you can. Alright, this is for 64 bit and this is for 32 bit. Well, just follow me. At first, I'm going to show you for 64 bit. Now, I'm just extract it on desktop. Next, copy the VC runtime 140.dll file. Next, I am going to this PC. Next, I am going to open system drive. Alright, then I am going to open Windows folder. Next, locate the system32 folder and open it. Next, paste here the VC runtime 140.dll file. That's it. Alright, next I'm going to show you for 32 bit. Now I'm going to the desktop. I'm just extract and copy the 32 bit VC runtime 140.dll file as you can see. Next, I am going to Windows folder. Next, locate the SYSWOW64 folder and open it. Next, paste here the VC runtime 140.dll file. That's it. Hopefully, your problem has solved. We hope you will like. Of course, let us know your opinion. If you have any questions, then please let us know. Please like, comment, share. We need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.